Hello and welcome to today's Milani Minute. Uh, if you've been watching this week, I've been talking about um, putting our faith in God over civil authorities. And while that doesn't mean that we should discount those that rule us uh, in this world, whether it be presidents, governors, or whatever else, um, <clears throat> it does mean that our ultimate authority ends with God. Um, today, or yesterday, we had our election. Uh, today, I, I pre-recorded this, so I don't know, but I'm guessing with the way things are this year, we don't actually have an answer to who our new president is. Uh, and that's probably going to cause extra stress. That's probably going to cause extra anxiety. That's probably going to cr- cr- uh, create more uh, strife with one another. But no matter who ends up winning, no matter how the process ends up going, we need to remember that we are called to submit to our civil authority, uh, even when we don't like it, unless it breaks the law of God. Uh, we see this in Romans 13. Uh, so let's read Romans 13, one, uh, verse 1 through 7. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. And those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed. And those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore, one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for the authorities are ministers of God, attending to this very thing. Pay to all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. Thanks be to God. Um, We find in this that we are called to submit to our authorities. Uh, Again, there is the caveat of that ends when they break God's law. But until that point, we are to follow that authority. We are to follow in that way. Now, I know that this has been put to the test over this past year. Uh, Many of us have started to, had to make calls on what is and what isn't uh, falling under this. A lot of us have had to figure out, uh, are we going to open churches? Are we going to sing? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? Are we going to eat dinner together? Are we going to go over to that person's house? Are we going to wear a mask? Are we not going to wear a mask? But we need to to be subject to these things. And there are aspects within that, especially in some parts of the country and parts of the world, that would not fall under this. But no matter who's in control, no matter what happens... We need to submit to that authority. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't raise our voices. That doesn't mean we can't disagree. That doesn't mean that we can't uh, pursue other action. But until that point, we follow the law as it's been instructed until it breaks God's law. So no matter who won yesterday, no matter if they're already known, whether they're not known for another week or whatever else may be, this is a very strange time, 2020. We need to make sure that as believers... We show that respect. We show that uh, honor, even when we don't agree with them, even when we don't like them. We need to respect them for the office that they've been given by God's uh, will. We may not know why. We may not like it. But we need to make sure that we are following God's commands as it's written in Romans. So let's make sure that we do things properly. Let's make sure we pay our taxes. Let's make sure we, we... give the revenue, let's make sure that we give the respect, make sure we give the honor, make sure that we're good citizens. But let us remember, we are citizens in God's kingdom first. In all things, he is in control. We are citizens of his world. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the ability to have 
these videos that we're able to share and and study and learn together and we just ask that no matter who wins the election won the election whatever the case may be we ask that you uh, show your power in this situation that we ask that you show us who you are that we know you can use anyone we just ask that you help to guide our country, that it may become, again, a country that is honoring to you, a, a country that focuses on who you are and what you are, that you aren't an old idea, but instead you are an eternal father. We just ask that you show us this light, even in this time, that you help us to submit to the authorities. But while we know uh, at the same time that you are the sovereign king, you are the ultimate king, we pray all these things in your heavenly name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today.